Hello everyone, this is Dice from Anime Wish Was Reborn, and I finally got sound working on one of my computers, so here I am remaking my gradient video, and I hope it's as good as the one that I had before. But anyways, um, due to my laptop that has Photoshop 7.0 on it not working still, I am using Photoshop CS3. It's exactly, I'm gonna do it exactly set up the same so nobody has to worry about anything like that there's there's really no difference um, I'm going to create a new layer first this is one I'll put the gradient on and I'm going to name it gradient and this is the background I just don't like when the background is locked it bothers me for some reason y you can keep it locked if you want to delete the layer it really does not matter the gradient tool you will know notice is in the paint bucket tool which depending on how you have this set up it can be here or here you just hold down the paint bucket tool and gradient this you'll notice is your gradient so far it's foreground to background that means your foreground color is going to start out here and your background color you just hit OK. It's very basic. It can be whatever you want. Obviously, if you change this, it changes the color up there. Um, the other forms you'll notice are up here. You don't have to do it just this way. Or whatever. Um, there is this one, which is the radial. You want to start in the center, and it'll create a circle depending how far out you go. This is the radius of the circle. So, this one is just making an angle. It can be useful, I suppose, depending. But it's just really basically going to go whichever way this does. And it's just kind of a straight line fading from the darkest color starting here going this way. This one's pretty self-explanatory. It's the reflector. Wherever you place this, it's going to start where the main color is and however far out you put this is how much of it there will be fading in and out on both sides. So, that can be fun to mess with too. This one's the diamond one. It's basically the same as the circle gradient tool. Basic concept, you can make it go in any direction you want. Depending on where it goes. You'll notice that it starts off in the center and if you go this way it's going to show up that way if you go diagonal. So, making a gradient. If you go up here, double click. There are other gradients here you will find. Foreground to transparent, black and white, etc. But um, you can make your own. I generally start with foreground to background because that's the most simple. Now these black ones are made mainly to determine the opacity of it. If it's black, then you'll know that it's solid. Like it's 100% opacity. If it's white, then you know you have no transparency whatsoever. These are the colors. I can add some by clicking randomly. If you hold down, you can drag it wherever you want. This is where you change the color. You can either click on it here and it will come up. Or, foreground, background, use your color. So that kind of gives you an idea of whatever, of, of what these do. Um, I can have it fade in and out if I want, or have it go back. It's it's really up to you, and I mean, you can't even really see this one, mainly because I have it going from transparent to white, and this is a white background. 
I generally keep it on this one, the vertical. I mean, the lean. I usually keep it on linear gradient. That's just the most commonly used one. It's pretty self-explanatory. And so, loading gradient sets. If you go to this arrow and to this one, you'll notice there are a bunch of these. There's. I'm going to be go to spectrums and replace current gradients with gradients from spectrums.grid. Now this is just asking if you want to load the new ones or not. It's not going to erase them or anything. Append will add the current set you're trying to load with the lo set already loaded. OK is going to say yes, I want to replace it. And here they are. And to show you append, you'll notice they are here still and these ones are added. Now say I want to save my own gradient set, like I've made a bunch of them. I'm going to go here, preset manager, and these are all of them. Now if I click on it, hold down the control key, click on whatever you want. Save set. And this is the name of it. Now be aware that if you save a gradient set that it is not going to show up until you have closed out of Photoshop and reloaded Photoshop. And then it will show up in your gradient menu. But a common thing that a lot of people do is they will take a picture and you'll notice that it fades from one color to another. So I have no idea what picture I have saved on my clipboard. Apparently I have a drawing I just scanned on my clipboard, so I'm just going to use that for this example. I'm going to take this one because I'm just showing you guys what it does, but generally what they do is they'll just have a gradient, and if you go up here, double click, this part, double clicking here and hitting the down arrow, which is what I'm going to do, only works on PCs, Macs don't allow this, I wish they did, but if you just keep going down until you find something that you like. I would probably go with color, but that is basically the gradient tool. And I hope this video helped everybody out. And I will be uploading more soon.